Welcome back and in this video we're going to go through the laws of logs. So I have three main rules for you and this is part one of the video so be sure to check back when I do part two and also click the link in the description to have a look at an exam question. But on the left here we have some rules and this is the addition of two logs would result in the product, subtraction of two logs results in a quotient and also we have a power rule here. So I'll go through a series of examples on the right hand side and I'm going to keep it quite simple for part one where we mainly stick to base 10 in the log. But let's dive in. Do it. Do it. Okay, so uh, write as a single logarithm or an integer. Integer means a whole number. So log 5 plus log 3, so that's log A plus log B. So what we can do is we can multiply those two together. So it's 5 times 3. So as a single logarithm, it will be log 15, and we will do nothing else with that. Here is a subtraction example. So we have log 24 minus log 8. So that will be log 24 divided by 8. And that is 3, so the answer will just come out to be log 3, and that is part A and B. Now we have one where we have a log, but we also have a just a single number. So what we're going to do is, if we're working in base 10, as I said, a default, then how do we write 1 as a base 10? Well, let's just write down log to base 10 of 5, subtract. Now, the answer of this log is going to be 1. So if we're working in base 10, what we would need to do is we would say, well, what do we need to raise the power of 10 by, okay, to give us 10? And the answer to that is 1. So basically, you are going to switch out this 1 with log 10, okay? So therefore, then you have log 5 subtract log 10, that is replacing the one. So now we can combine those logs and we'll have log five over 10, which will be, well, let's just write that down, five over 10, which is equivalent to log to a half, right? So that was one when we have like a mixed value, a log and an integer. Okay, over to D. So we have to simplify this down. Now um, we can write this slightly differently. We can say that this is log two cubed. And this is over log 2 squared. Now, one of the rules was, was the power rule that we said that we could bring down this power and place it in the front. And that goes for both sections here. So if we did that, then we would be left with 3 log 2 over 2 log 2. Now, because the log 2s are the, exactly the same value, they will cancel leaving us just with 3 over 2. And that would be answer to D. Okay, so part E is a subtraction, but we need to deal with this maybe first of all. So we can say that log uh, 1 over 9 is 9 to the minus 1. And then we have subtract. Let's deal with this 2. We can bring this 2 and put it back up on the power. So we can have a singular sort of log form of 3 squared. Now, 3 squared is 9. So let's go down one more line. We've got 9 to the minus 1 uh, minus log 9. So we should be able to combine those two now. Um, we have log 9 to the minus 1 divided by 9. Now, if you think about this as being 9 to the power of 1, then when you divide those, you have negative 1 subtract 1. So that would be negative 2. So we have log to the power of 9 to the minus 2, which is also equivalent to uh, log to the power of 1 over 81. So really, either of those forms is left the answer in a sort of singular logarithmic form. Over to this one here, uh, we're going to bring the power up that we saw on the previous one. So this is, oh, by the way, this is natural log. So natural log is exactly the same as saying log to base E. So this natural log, you'll see more of that when I do the other part of the video, part two. But natural log is log to base E. But all the rules um, are exactly the same for natural log as they are for um log to base 10, let's say. So there's no change. So if we bring the uh, third up, 
plus natural log three, then this expression here is actually uh, the cube root of eight. So this is the law of indices. So the cube root of eight is two, and then we have plus this, and then we can use the addition rule, which is the multiplication of those two. So that would become natural log six, and that is the end of F. Okay, so those were the three main laws of logs. Have you seen them before? Do you find those questions easy? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to click the video above and have a look at a past exam question involving those three laws. And I'll see you next time.